Death by name, death by nature. Mick Foley is interested in doing one more death match, but will it come at the expense of his own death? Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. We all thought Mick Foley was done. We never thought we'd see this guy get in a ring again and actually wrestle a match. Well, it turns out we might actually get to see it because Mick Foley wants it. Mick Foley wants to return, and not just any return. He wants to return on the big 6-0, his 60th birthday, which is just under two years away. So WWE Hall of Famer Mick Foley, who is currently 58, discussed the possibility of having one more match during his latest podcast. And this is what he had to say, quote, 60 is right around the corner. I'm thinking of doing one final match for my 60th birthday, death match. I think I'd be a, I think it'd be a great incentive to drop those 100 big pounds, and I think it might be fun. End of quote. So Foley wants to have a final match. He wants it to be a death match. He wants it to be on his 60th birthday. He thinks it would give him the incentive to drop 100 pounds. So that tells me that right now he is currently 100 pounds overweight. I think it's good that Mick Foley wants to drop £100, but I don't think it's good that Mick Foley wants to get back in the ring, let alone have a death match, because any time I've seen this guy in the past 10, 15 years, this guy can barely walk, he doesn't move good, and the last thing he needs is adding more bumps to his card, and taking more chair shots to the head, and, and, and just putting his body through the ringer one last time. That is the last thing Mick Foley needs. He's gave us everything. He's had a great career. He's created some epic moments in wrestling. He doesn't owe us anything. He doesn't need to do anything. If he wants to celebrate his 60th birthday, then, I don't know, cut a promo or something like that. But come on, Mick. Don't do it. Don't give us a death match. Don't kill yourself, Mickey. Yeah, he hasn't been able to move perfectly in his entire career. I would be honest. But yeah, last 15 years at TNA run... As much as I thought it was fun, right, seeing him there, world champion, taking on a biz, etc., blood. Yeah, but that's 15 years ago, you know what I mean? Like, we, need, we need to keep in mind how... Early 40s. Yeah, and, and look how bad he looked back then. I think the biggest problem this is for me, he's not getting this match in WWE, and therefore... Yeah, they they would they would make a death match look really cheap. Well, but funny, AEW would do the polar opposite. Well, funny you mentioned that because Foley actually ruled out the match happening in WWE. This is what he had to say: "Quote, no, because I think it would be a pretty gory spectacle. I'm just thinking about it. I put it out there to two of my kids, and they were like, would you get hurt?'" Yeah, probably. I wouldn't have to get my brain rattled. I'm not adverse to getting a few stitcheroonies here and there. I mean, it won't be for everyone, and rightfully, like, that's not good for you. It could help me lose £100. That's what I'm missing. I did drop the 100 but I had the WrestleMania thing. I was already down 50. I had Vince in my ear where I made the promise to him that I would be down by 80. But I don't have any type of incentive, so it's something I'm throwing out there. This time next year, we might have to revisit that option. End of quote. Well, he says that he wants to lose £100 and he didn't he won't have Vince in his ear this time either, that's for sure. Nope. I mean, the only pounds that he's going to get for Vince is Vince drops one on his head, damn it. But, uh... Yeah, the match was never going to happen in WWE, but I'm worried for the guy. If he does it in AEW, they'll kill. Yeah, and then Foley went on to comment on who he would like this match to be against, and he says, quote, John Moxley or Matt Cardona? I think Moxley would be the easiest, but Matt has that heat in the deathmatch world that could really make it something cool, end of quote. All right, Foley, I don't know what you're talking about. Matt Cardona has heat in deathmatches. Where? Wh which company? Yeah, what, CCW or something? Companies that, companies that don't mean shit? I don't like Moxley, right? But you know what? That was, that's the only one that makes sense in AEW for me. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather see Mick Foley versus John Moxley than Mick Foley versus Matt Cardona. <sighs> I'm glad he didn't say Eddie Kingston, though. True, true. But I mean, Mark, Matt imagine, Cardona. Imagine Eddie Kingston trying to carry this guy to a match. Oh, radio. I mean, it'll always be Sack Ryder to me. I'm not, you, you know what? I completely forgot who Mark Condona was. But then when you started doing old radio, I knew who he was. Anyway, yeah, I mean, John Moxley would probably be the best bet, but ah, come on, Mick Foley, just don't do it. It's, it's really not that hard. It's not that difficult. 
you got nothing less to, you got nothing more to prove. And what's he going to do? Just waddle about the ring and and bleed for the sake of bleeding? There's no point. I just don't see why would he do it. No, not the shame is. So see with WWE, when they had that period with the cinematic matches because of COVID, we're never going to get that again. I think for a lot of these guys like Foley, that was their chance to actually have one last match and to make it good. Yeah. And I get it, you can't just fire all these legends into a WrestleMania card and do cinematic matches, even though fuck, I wouldn't have said no to it. Same with Austin, I know he had the match with Owens and I liked it, but you could have had like, like Hogan. If Hogan and Flair want something like that, that was the time, wasn't it? Sure. All these guys are done. Well, I mean, if Brick Foley wanted to have a death match, could you not do a cinematic death match? Yeah, why not? Then actually you'd rather have a, a proper death match where you're almost killing yourself. Now, he said he doesn't need to take a chair shot. He said he doesn't need to have his brain rattled, but he wants to bleed because um, a few stitch of Roonies here or there. I like the way he just calls them stitch of Roonies, as if it's, you know, it's nothing. Ah, 25 more staples in my head. What does that matter? It doesn't matter, damn it. Anyway, who knows? Maybe he'll force him into the triple threat match. Rock Foley reigns. Rock can hit him with about 25 unprotected chair shots this time. Uh, it could be. Anyway, guys, Mick Foley wants one more match. Look, I I'm all for seeing legends come back and get one more match, one more run, but I don't think we need to see it with Mick Foley. I really don't. I'm sorry, Mick, but... We like you. I want you to have a nice day, and, you know, having one more match might not be a nice day for you. It might not have be a, a nice day. might not be a nice end. And anyway, guys, let me know what you think down below. Do you want to see Mick Foley wrestle one more time? Plus, the guy's going to be fucking 60. And I just don't think Mick Foley, right, will be as good as, at 60 as others will be. See, when you look at Taker at 60 and, like, a Goldberg, I just think they've... I think they've maintained their body better. I think they were always more athletic. Well, a given, isn't it? Yeah, I know, but like... Uh, Mick Foley's just a big fat bag of shite at the end of the day. I mean, it is what it is, but see, it's 60 years old. This guy's not going to be able to offer anything. No, apart from a body bag. I mean, at least Goldberg is in shape. Goldberg's an athlete. All right, he'll slow down. He won't be as strong, etc. But Goldberg at 60 will be closer to his peak the Mick Foley at 60 will be. Absolutely. I mean, see at 60, like, see if you've been fat and out of shape, what do you really have left to offer? Nothing. So, you know... A medical bill? I don't think... I don't want to see it, but, well, I mean, if Mick Foley wants to do it, he'll do it. I don't want to see it, right? But if he did have his match on AEW... I'd yeah, watch it. For a few, yeah, it would make you want to watch it. Possibly. I would watch it, but I don't want to see it. Anyway, that's it, guys. Catch you in the next one. Let us know your thoughts down below, and peace.